standing here with Lawrence Gartel, the artistic mind behind all the cards that you see behind me. Lawrence, tell me, how did you get this idea? Well, I've been doing digital art for almost 40 years now. The electric Tesla people came to me three years ago and asked me, can you do an art car? And I said, absolutely, yes. And a new industry was born for me. It's created on a computer. Then it is printed to a vinyl. And then there's a laminate process over it. It's put on by heat blowers that suction the panels to the car. They're drivable. Everything has a license plate on it and is a drivable car. And so the idea really is, is that the road doesn't have to be boring anymore. It doesn't have to be monochromatic. All right, Lawrence, so can you give us a little bit of a rundown of each one of the cars we see behind us? I sure can. Well, right behind me is the 1975 VW Beetle. It's a time when the the world was friendly and loving and all that sort of thing. The hardest one to do is the Beetle. It took twice as long to do and twice as much manpower because it's so hard to go around the curves of this car. Then you've got the 1982 Mercedes 380 SL, and boy, is that car fun to drive and it's just a babe magnet what can you say it's a 2000 Silverado over there it's called the pinup truck with the added depth of the pinups it makes a really interesting surrealistic vehicle Eric is aquatic adventure and Erica she commissioned that car and she said do whatever you want I said listen that's not how it works what happens is, is the car has an alter ego it talks to me it tells me what it wants to be and that car told me it wanted to be a fish tank it's a Ford Focus, but I said, you know, it's not a Ford Focus anymore. The brands sort of disappear off these things. It's more about the artwork and, and how it communicates to people. And everyone gives you a thumbs up when you drive, so it's very cool. I'm wearing this orange jacket because I participated in the Fireball Run race, raising awareness for missing children. My car, of course, that I mentioned, the Fireball Run car, the artist you'd think would have the wildest. I said, okay, I'm going to try to make that car conservative. So that's my rendition of that, but it's also autobiographical. Then you've got the car that we really introduced here, which is called Bling, and it's a 1984 Cadillac Coupe de Ville. It's got brick on it. It's got all sorts of bling, and the inside also, there's snakeskin. It's outrageous. It's an outrageous car. The Tiger Mercedes has a little purple stripe down at the bottom, and that's the artistic sensibility to make something so outrageous yeah. like that. The 63 Chevy pickup truck, again, it's this whole psychedelia type of thing. Last but not least, let's say, it's the most recent one, and it's called the Robbie Chrome Car. So it's printed on chrome. Very, very special car. Nobody's printing on chrome like this. How much time does it usually take from start to finish to do one of these? That's a good question. It usually takes about a month. Probably going to run you about eighteen to $20,000. If you were to, to do my car, I have a 98 Honda Civic. I'm in L.A. I'm in L.A. I'm an on-camera reporter. I'm also an avid sports fan. I played sports growing up. Uh, I, I spent a lot of time at the beach. Could be girls playing volleyball. And uh, I'd probably get about a dozen girls to you know, come up from wherever and have the model for you to see if they would be worthy of being on your car as a, as a you know, subject. I love this man. I just met him. I love him already. If they want to see more of the work, I've got gartellart.com and also we're launching a new website here, lawrencegartell.com. <laughs>